Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Argentina versus France. Thanks Derek. Well this should be a decent game today. Both managers will have a game plan, both teams have a certain style of play and both sides will want to start quickly. I'm looking forward to this. The Argentina first team, Cristian Romero starts alongside Lisandro Martinez in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Nicolas Gonzalez on the flanks and leading the line today is Julian Alvarez. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. William Saliba starts with Dayo Ipamecano in central defence. Eduardo Camavinga starts alongside Aurelia Chouameni in the centre of midfield. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. And they kick off here. Messi. It's opening up for them. Montiel. And space to cross it. The defender doing his job. find the right pass Dembele will credit to him for the challenge and the throw in conceded they will just get past his man trying as much just fractionally wide so unfortunate Alexis McAllister Taglia Figo Fernandez Rodrigo de Paul Lionel Messi Lionel Messi's daredevil style of attacking could well make the difference here Stuart Well he's a good technical player, you can see a part Is it going to be? Well, what a glorious chance to grab the first goal of the contest. Well, you have to say that's a wasted opportunity to get their noses in front here. Golden opportunity.
position. What can he and his teammates do? Gonzalo Montiel. Aurelien Chouameni. Conte now. Kunde. It's a good looking ball. Fired over by Usman Dembele. Well, still an issue here. For Meccano. High pressing and good high pressing. Hernandez. Can they forge ahead? Excellent block. You see? What's an opportunity? Well, beating his opponent. A chance now with the corner. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Messi with the corner. The danger is still there. Textbook defending inside the box. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. But it was squandered. Go kick. convincing defending he's going to take on the shots and not cleared away properly oh great defending well that was a big chance for France to take the lead there but what a brilliant save from the keeper he's really pulled out all the stops on that occasion well unlucky perhaps to be denied but they've now got to think about defending Lionel Messi Montiel Alexis McAllister that is that for the first half here well it's often a case of top level performances where Lionel Messi is concerned but Stewart not necessarily in this case it certainly wasn't his best half of football he was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Kunde. And teammates around him. And the fine tackle. Lionel Messi. Timely intervention. Eduardo Camavinga. Teo Hernandez. Camavinga. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, good looking cross.
Chelsea deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Short corner favour. Mbappe into the middle. Oh, the post denied him. Not away completely. Not punched clear. Well, I have to say that was a great opportunity for France to take the lead. But if they continue to make chances, you feel they're going to score soon. Well, it should boost their confidence, but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Well, they've decided to make a change. Lionel Messi, Montiel, and slipped through beautifully. And he's clear as lines. Luka Makano, Zaire Emery. Warren Zaire Emery. And it's through here. Mbappe! My goodness, that save. What a stress he was. One for his own highlight three. So making the substitution now. Dembele tasked for taking the corner. Really good, and we cannot say enough about that save. Well, how did he stop that? That is a remarkable save. Fernandez. And the pass deftly cut out. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Rodrigo de Paul. Plenty of support here. And they nudge in front late on here. Taglia Fica. good goal this is he hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance that's a great strike well it's a big moment for him just needs to get his players refocused now Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, let's in the game here, they know what they need, and that's an equaliser. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? the replay what a pass this is from Martinez and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that so the ball rolling again at 2-0 Teo Hernandez Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Good wait on that pass. And clears his lines.
Martinez. And the final whistle, a victory for Argentina. Precisely what their fans were hoping for, Stuart. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the path well. Going forward, there was some really nice, incisive play too. It's a good result for them. But it just seems of this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. 